1960s, a decade of sweeping change in American culture, part of which was the advent and widespread adoption of color TV. Movies had been in color for years before, but television, at least for most people, wasn't in vivid living color until the mid-60s when the major networks would introduce full-color broadcasts in prime time, taking the medium to the next level. And part of that next level was color programming. And when I say color, I mean color. Not satisfied with going from black and white to a full spectrum of color, TV assaulted viewers' eyes with bright splashes of color that leapt off the screen. And in no other TV show was this more apparent than Batman. Everybody who's ever seen one episode of Batman remembers the brightly colored costumes, campy comedy, and wild plots that leapt right off the Silver Age comic pages into the homes of millions. This is where America's fascination with the Cape Crusader really began. Sure, Bats had been in the comics for almost 30 years at this point, but getting on primetime television exposed the Dark Knight to millions of homes that might have otherwise never known him. The show was a huge hit, knocking out its black and white competition and kicking off a new colorful era in television. Batman aired for three seasons and then became a staple of early syndication, constantly creating new fans for decades to come. In 2019, Figures Toy Company, the spiritual successor to Mego, who's been producing 8-inch clothed figures for almost 20 years, got the license to create figures for the Batman TV show, and in true Figures Toy Company fashion, they have produced a ton of different figures from the series. Today we're taking a look at Series 1. Figures Toy Company came out of the gate strong with four major characters from the show, these are 8-inch Mego style, but the sculpting and design is definitely more high-end on these figures. Figures Toy Company offers different options for packaging. 30 bucks plus shipping will get you a deluxe, reusable clamshell. This is one of the best products Figures Toy Company offers and works great for people that like to display the figures on the card but want to be able to open them up as well. 20 bucks will get you a retro style box that also works well for display, if not so much for protecting the figure. Finally, if you order through Amazon.com, you may be able to find the figure loose in a factory bag. This option is generally cheaper for most of the figures, but the price does vary. I got a few of these on the clamshell before I realized I could get the figures cheaper in a box. So we'll get to see a mix of packaging options as we go. First up, obviously, is Batman, played by Adam West. West wasn't the first guy to play Batman in a live-action role, but he certainly defined that role in his time on the show. And you can't have Batman, at least in this version, without Robin, played on the show by Burt Ward. Both of these figures are great likenesses of the characters they portray. Next is number four on MeTV's list of the best Batman TV show villains, the great Cesar Romero as the Joker. This figure also has a great sculpt, and they even got his little mustache under the paint. Last is MeTV's number one Batman TV show villain, the Riddler, played by Frank Gorshin. Gorshin only appeared in nine episodes of the show, leaving due to a contract dispute, and was even replaced by John Astin. Yes, Gomez Adams played the Riddler. Fun fact, Aston didn't shave his cookie duster for the show either. But let's not waste any more time and check out Series 1 of Batman by Figures Toy Company. Alright, so here we are. We've got Batman and Robin. I showed you that we opened them up in a previous episode. Uh, Batman came in the little cardboard box. Robin came in the clamshell. I do have a couple of clamshells more to show you today, but we've already kind of seen these guys, but let's go through them and, and take a, a closer look at, uh, at Batman and Robin. Um, let's take a look at Batman first. Uh, Batman is great looking. This is a great looking figure. He has a fantastic looking costume. Figures Toy Company did a fantastic job on the sculpt of the face here. It looks so much 
like who it's supposed to be. It looks so great. Um, and, and man, like that, that look is just fantastic. These are great sculpts. Um, the, the boots and the gloves have this sort of leather style material. Um, they're made to be popped on. So he doesn't have little Mego hands underneath there. What he has is he has um, a little ball, a little ball joint or a little ball that pops in to uh, this, this glove. There's a little hole in the middle there and you stick it in and there you go. You've got yourself <laughs> a hand and um, yeah, these are great. You can actually get um, assorted colors and, uh, and, and shapes and styles on ClassicTVToys.com to make all sorts of awesome superhero stuff. This is their superhero body. It's a little bit different from the Mego style body. I would say it's slightly, slightly more high quality. Um, not too much more, but slightly more. Um, the clothing especially is very nice though. This cape, it's got a wire inside so you can, uh, you can shape it into different poses and stuff and Batman's gonna look fantastic. Robin here um, looks really, really awesome. He's got his R there. These um, grommets or whatever they are, real metal. Um, there's a thread running through here. These are like high detail stuff. The belt's made out of leather, but it's got kind of a metallic, or not leather, it's made out of rubber, but it's got kind of a metallic look to it. Um, Again, these bodies can be fragile. Uh, they do the same thing that the Mego bodies do where the arm will come popping out uh, on the hinge there and you might have to restring them, but they can be restrung and it's an easy little fix, unfortunately. I wish I didn't have to actually do that, but um, you know, it's, it's fine, I guess. I wish these were put on bandless S-type bodies, um, but eh, look at the likeness to, to Burt Ward, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so let's see what we've got next. All right, now we have our uh, Riddler and Joker figures here in the package. And they both came in the clamshells. Let's take a quick look at the clamshell. Uh, so you've got some photos down the side here of Cesar Romero as the Joker. Um, you can see the whole figure. Um, he's not obscured at all. These... Um, these clamshells are very, very nice. These are the nicest thing that Figures Toy Company makes, honestly. I know it sounds fucking weird that a clamshell is the nicest product that they make, but this is a really high quality piece of work here that you can reseal and put your figure back inside when you're done um, screwing with it, done looking at it. You can uh, take them out, change the clothes, put them back in. You can make custom uh, card art for it and put it back in there. You can make your own custom figures and custom card art and seal them up um, and, you know, and take them out, enjoy them, look at them. On the back here, we've got the Cross Cell Collect Them All Series 1 and Series 2. We'll be looking at Series 2 next month. Um, as for right now, Series 1 is Adam West as Batman, Burt Ward as Robin, Frank Gorshin as the Riddler, and Cesar Romero as the Joker. Um, let's get these bad boys open. Of course, always got to open up that little Figures Toy Company uh, zip tie, and I will do that right now. All right, so here we've got Cesar Romero as the Joker. Um, let's take a closer look at this figure here. He's got his purple getup. Um, he's got his waistcoat here. As you open it up, you can see he's got the three-piece suit. You open it up. There's another shirt underneath. He's got his pants, another shirt, his tie. Um, lots of detail, lots of detail on these things. You have the Velcro uh, attachments there. Little tag on the inside. Um, if you close that up though, um, you can see he's got the tails on the back. Um, these are very high detail figures. Unlike Batman and Robin, he has uh, actual um, sculpted hands that are attached the traditional way, but they are sculpted to look like gloves. But they're just like uh, regular old Mego style hands that attach to the body the, in the traditional way. Um, I guess so. I guess this isn't the superhero body. This would be the Figures Toy Company standard style body uh, that they have there, but still pretty darn cool. Um, we want to take a closer look at the face here. 
Um, so the paint job looks like to be on mine is kind of fucked up. Uh, I know that your mileage may vary depending on which ones you get. It kind of sucks that we end up with shit like this sometimes. Um, but I, I know they wanted to let you know that or, or let it be known that like, oh, look, he's got a little mustache underneath that. Um, it does feel like it's sculpted underneath that, um, but they did put a little a little gray underneath there and like so the nose hole on mine is a little fucked out um so but it, i know it is different i do have another joker um and the the paint job is 100 percent better on the face there so i don't know you get what you get um sometimes not wouldn't be out of the fucking question for me to buy another one of these for 20 bucks that's in the box or whatever and i can swap out the heads or whatever and you can always use these um, these outfits or whatever. He's got socks on. He's got socks. He's got shoes. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of high detail here. This is a really cool Joker figure. If you're into Batman 66, um, these are the must-get figures. These, the, This series one is the must-get. All right, and finally, here we are. We have Frank Gorshin as the Riddler in his little Riddler uh, cat suit that he wears. Um, it, it goes all the way down. Looks like his, uh, yeah, you can take the shoes off, but why would you? He's got little shoes on, um, and it looks like you can take it off on the back with the Velcro, and you can see it is a Made in China Figures Toy Company body. Um, so you just close that right back up. But on the front here, uh, we have the, the big question mark. Uh, down the side of the leg, we have the question marks all the way down. And uh, on the, look, a little cuff around the sleeves. Um, very good likeness to Frank Gorshin. He's got the, the receding hairline, the slick back hair, and the like, <laughs> look on his face. Um, really cool figure, really great character uh, on the show. Um, yeah, I. This is another one of those things. All four of these figures in the first lot, uh, the first series, are must-have. These are the must-haves. If you're gonna get, you know, at least one or two of these figures, um, you know, you're gonna get Batman and Robin. If you're gonna get a couple of villains, you're gonna want to get this guy. You're gonna want to get the Joker, um, and you're also gonna want to get uh, the the Penguin, who we'll see in the next series. Um, but all in all. Um, these are pretty great figures, but uh, let's take a look at them all together. So all in all, these figures, Toy Company, Batman TV show figures are pretty great. Series 1, I'll say uh, thumbs up. Uh, from me. These are great figures for 20 bucks a pop when you get them in the little display box, um, the little cardboard box. Um, you know, you really can't go wrong for $20. These are superior, at least to me, in my opinion, these are superior to a Marvel Legends figure or a uh, whatever, the, the fucking McFarland uh, fucking DC figures that, that we have now. Um, these are these are so much better. You've got actual clothes on here. You've got these great sculpts. And for a series like the 1960s Batman TV show, this is what, you know, the kids back then um, getting the, the old Mego figures probably all oh, these goes those guys would go fucking gaga for these fucking things these are great fucking figures um i mean look just look at the detail look at the fucking detail here i could take the fucking the, the cape off um and even underneath here underneath his cowl he's got like a little uh pleather um you know like collar around the shirt it's great these are great great fucking figures i can't recommend them enough um I, people will you know, bring up the fact that they are, um, they are a little fragile. That's true. Um, they are a little fragile. I remember when we, when we had this discussion, uh, back in December for the Christmas episode. If you remember, I smashed a Jesus on the fucking, uh, on the ground like that. And, uh, and his leg fell off. Um, as you can see, these are a little bit better quality. You can smash the shit out of these and they'll be okay. You might in posing them lose an arm. Um, but you can easily restring it. It's not that difficult. A little kid could do it. So at the end of the day for $20, these are great figures.